Hello everyone, today I will introduce the functions and the operations of asphalt distributor with my engineer, Mr. Xie. This is a power chassis. The capacity is 10,000 liters asphalt tank. The tank is coated with shiny stainless steel. First, I will introduce the hydraulic system. You see the engine PTO is here. The engine PTO connect one gearbox here. That way, connect the hydraulic pump. And here is the hydraulic motor and the bitumen pump. And now I introduce the pipeline and the wipe system. Now here is asphalt outlet wipe. They go asphalt outside from here. They go to asphalt filter. We go to the pump. We put a small cycle to back to the tank. This we call small cycle. Another one we go down to the spray bar. They go back to here. It's an air valve. Then we, we can see here is a self priming valve. This two net is for cleaning. One is for air cleaning, one is for the diesel cleaning. Here is the transfer valve. And the thumbs we see here, we can connect the hand spray bar. Our heating system is separate from the truck engine. So here's the generator. When we start the generator, we go to the, the power to the burner. We have two burners, south side and the upside. We have the heating, we're heating the inside. We have the small boiler for heating the oil. So here's the heating oil tank. So after we see the heating transfer oil pump for the circulation to the spray bar, tank and the pump. Here is a heating transfer oil pipe and the valve. Here is the pump for the heating oil transfer. And here is the pressure. Here are the chassis cylinder we connect here. Then go to our cylinder. This is a truck cylinder we connect here. Then we go to the water separated. Then go to our cylinder for storage air. This is spray lifting cylinder. This is a nozzle cylinder. So all we control by the air. Now is the control system. In the behind, we have the manual system. All the noodles can separate open, the bitumen pump can open, the valves can open here, and we can shift to the front computer from here. And the pump speed, we can see here, we can see the pump speed here. This menu is for, for the spare use. Here is a computer, we can see that. It controls area here, and we can adjust the value in here. So first, we fill in the asphalt. But there are warnings here. Before you fill in the hot asphalt, you should clean out the water and the emulsion. After filling the asphalt, we open the rear control panel. We take the power on. And the model we select front. Now we go to front computer. We switch on the power here. Then we select language, English. Then we go to the scan. scan. Then go, go to working monitor screen. Now, here we can see fire temperature here. First is heat conduct oil temperature. Second is bitumen tank. 
temperature. Third is pump pot temperature, and here is pipe temperature. So if you want to change the temperature here, we should send in the heat conducting oil temperature, like 230 degree. Now first we start the generator. the burner here there are two signal is here one is heat conducting oil pump signal the the down burner and here is the up burner because our level is lower so the up burner is not ignite and we can see the burner is ignite And the head conducting oil is running. After this street temperature arriving your requirements, so we can stop the heating. Then we turn off the generator. So after heating, we can feel the warm here. So after we extend the spray bar, then we can extend our spray bar. Okay. Another side also. So first, we should open the asphalt outlet valve. First, we send the language to English. Then we start to send in the parameter to the spring. We go to scan. The first is the spring value. We can put here like 1.3 liters per square meter. Second, we can put the spray width. We can put like six meter. Then we'll go to the working monitoring. Then here is the speed is very important. Here's the optimal speed. That means we should drive similar to close to this speed. And here we can see all the noodles here. And we have three models to reduce and increase of the noodles. First is the center model. We can hear this four noodles is shortage. Here is the same. And we can reduce. And increase. Uh, increase noodles from the center. Here is the left model. And here is the right. So we can operation here, reduce one by one from right, from right side. And here is a noodle editing model. That means all the noodles can separate open and on. We should see we close 41, 42, 43, 44, we will here. These eight noodles are closed. And we open it. Now we see the four noodles spray bar is opened. You can see here, if you want to advanced parameter sending, we can put here. There's nine, 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 nine. Enter, back, we go to system. Actually, we can change some of the ratios here. But it, it is only allowed the factory engineer do so we can it's forbidden to do that one. 
first we check the air pressure it should be about 6, 0.6 ampere then we stop engine Then we put on the PTO. After put, we put the PTO, we take this model to ready. Then we can check this pump speed. Is pump speed close to the Required speed, then we can make the circulation for three minutes. So, so after we put ready for three minutes, that means we make circulation for three minutes of the asphalt. Then we push the work. Open the asphalt valve, then open the asphalt pump. Then we slowly, slowly open this air clean valve. So the, the remaining bitumen in the tank, in the pipe, will back. We are pl blow back to this to the tank from here to the tank after 10 seconds so after the asphalt flush back to the tank we close the asphalt well then we full open the air clean valve then we open all the noodles Then we go to automatic clean process. If long time no use of the asphalt distributor, we should clean it by the diesel oil, duplication the pump. So I should close, close as well. Then put diesel oil in this side and open this. Then we go to the bitume pump, open the bitume pump. To open the nozzle. Open this well. This is the self premium well. Close this well. And we turn on the asphalt pump. Then you can see it will be sucked from here. We have big quantity remained bitumen not used, so we use the transfer model. We connect the pipe. 
here. And open this valve. And close this valve. Open the test floor wheel. Turn on the pump. So the feature will be go like this way. Go like this way. Go outside for the test floor. If small quantity. We can discharge the instrument here. If I use this valve. Now I will teach you how to use a hand spray. We connect the hand spray here. Keep this valve open. Close this wheel and open this one like uh, 30 degree, not four. And we go to the hot spot, open that spot. We can adjust the pressure here by the pump speed or by close or open the, the level of this wheel by just the hand spray pressure. Okay. We stop the engine, then we take off the PTO after working. So we need to pay attention to these warnings. Three months and uh, very key push up of the burner. <laughs> 